What is the best loan officer coaching or loan officer training program? I'm Nick Carpenter. Obviously, I'm biased to the Legion of Loan Officers, but I'm going to present a couple of options and share with you how the fact is there's not just one best mortgage you know, coaching program or loan officer training program because depending on your personality type and what you like to do, there's going to be different options depending on where you are in your business, what your goal is. There's, there's different people that have, you know, different programs that are all high quality programs. Obviously, there are some charlatans out here and people who are just on quick money grabs, right? You see some of these programs come and go like in one year. Um, if you're a person that loves a challenge and you love to cold call and you're not afraid of rejection, like the core coaching absolutely works, right? Um, it's just a different strategy than I have. Doesn't mean it doesn't work. Like the core has been around a really long time. One time I even, I was at this museum and I was looking for like artifacts and I came in a room, there was actually a room that had mortgage artifacts. I know this is crazy, mortgage artifacts in a room. And I was looking at this stone tablet that they had there and I walked up to it and I was, you know, you could kind of read the stone tablet and then next to the stone tablet they had a writing, you know, they had done like, a paper um, pencil etching or whatever you call it to figure out exactly what it says. And it turns out this stone tablet had written on there information about doing Monday cold calls to realtors. That's how old the strategy is. It literally was on a stone tablet. I know, super crazy, right? But hey, the strategy still works if that's your thing. If you like to cold call and you like to chase, like there's definitely programs out there that would be very suited for you and your personality type, right? Um, if you're somebody who's into high performance and figuring out what you really want to do if it's not doing a mortgage and you're already amazing at the mortgage business, right? You might look at somebody like Roland Cochran or Kai McBride and, you know, these guys are doing kind of high performance team leader type coaching, you know, um, maybe that's what you need, right? Um, I'm assuming that you don't need motivation and me to tell you how to be a high performer, right? Um, you're already doing what you want to do. I mean, that's usually what humans do is what they want to do. Um, I'm not in to make you do things you're not trying to do or tell you how you need to, you know, do things differently or whatever that is, right? I mean, I'm just here to give some different strategies and little ideas that are working for us. And if it works for you, you know, awesome. I'm I'm happy to watch you implement that and go and get results from it. And if not, like that's also fine. That's a choice that you can make. Um, but people all the time. I mean, you know, you look at some of there's like these vetted vetted VA and uh, veteran mortgage advisor courses and some of these kind of things. If you're trying to get specifically better at doing VA loans and you want more VA loans, um, you know, for the Legion of Loan Officers, what we're focused on is how to get more real estate agents as partners. That's what I'm focused on. Because I believe the fastest way to have a consistent business that you enjoy operating on a daily basis is to have partners that you like dealing with and you like being around. Um, you know, most loan officers have realtors that they don't like as people. And we wanna have partners that we enjoy. and. You know, it's not a drag when they call you, you're sending them to voicemail and, you know, every day is like a beating because you don't want to deal with your partners. And so that's kind of what I'm focused on is like, how do we speed date realtors in a cool way that is a high use of our time and that we can find our tribe, right? And so that's kind of what we're doing. We're speed dating realtors. We're, you know, getting a little bit of leads, consumer direct and setting up some of those ads that follow people around. But, you know, we just have a cool process. I mean, some people love it. Other people would rather do the cold calls or figuring out what's their thing or how to be a more high-performing performer or whatever things, right? Like, that, that's a great thing about life is there's so many choices. There's so many options. You can find the tribe that's perfect for you. If you want to check out and see if it's the Legion of Loan Officers, Visit legionofloanofficers.com slash commit. You can check out exactly what we're doing inside. I also recommend you just Googling Legion of Loan Officers 
and see what other people have said about us. There's like a hundred Google reviews out there. So, you know, who nobody trusts one or two or three reviews, but how, how can you not trust a hundred, <laughs> right? So um, check out and see what other people have said. And if you're ready to do something different because you know right now, you gotta double down on the business. If you want your business to maintain its growth or even to be, you know, at all on the playing field of what you did last year, you're gonna definitely need to go and get some more realtor partners that are sending you some clients. So let's focus on that. Purchase business is going up. Refinances are basically non-existent today. And we wanna go out and snap those purchases up and make sure that, um, you know, that realtors know about you and that you can grab that business. So if you're looking for the best mortgage coaching or loan officer coaching training program, the fact is it's gonna be subjective. You're gonna ultimately decide what's the best program, what's the best community for you to be a part of, and if that's the Legion, I'll, open, I'll welcome you with open arms, and if it's not, more power to you, and I hope you find all the success you're looking for in whatever program you decide to commit to. Because the fact is, making a decision and making a commitment, that's probably the hardest part of this whole thing.